Anything uh, further to report on injuries at this point, particularly Plumley? Yeah, no, he practiced full today. He looked good. Um, uh, you know, he looked uh, fine. We were in uh, spider pads, but uh, you know, he seemed seemed good. I was awake at 11:20 on the call. <laughs> just what your assessment of the Grant Tisdale leaving the program and all, everything? Yeah, that, we, you know, address that. I, I, you know, Grant and I spoke uh, Tuesday before practice, and you know, he felt like it was best to explore his options. And Grant is a phenomenal kid. He handled it the right way. Was professional about it, and uh, you know I have nothing but praise to you know for Grant, and he's a he's a great young man. He'll he'll land somewhere good, and and we'll support him in that. Were you surprised at all by his decision? You know what, I, I mean, you you knew with the amount of freshman quarterbacks that we had that that something could potentially happen, and uh, so so was I surprised? No, um, but at the same time, just we're we're here to support him. Just human nature. Do you wonder if you could have done something different, you know, different in the process or anything? Yeah, you know what? You just look around. That's just the landscape that we're in right now in college football with the transfer portal, especially with the number of quarterbacks in the same class that we had. Mm -hmm. You know, something was bound to happen. Is that something you always have to factor in, not even just with the quarterback position, but all over the field in this kind of day and age with the portal? Yeah, I mean, again, you know, you're going to carry three deep. But, you know, at every position, and that, that's uh, that, that's kind of way the, net, the way our numbers are built in recruiting. So you're going to carry three deep. It's just, you know, at the quarterback position, only one guy can play. We haven't asked you much about him since fall, but uh, I'm assuming he's elevated up to third team now. What about Kincaid Dent's progress? Yeah, we've worked him in and got him some reps yesterday, and uh, not as many today because John Rice was full go. But uh, but he has got some reps, and you know he'll be he'll be ready if his numbers call. With John Rice still coming back from injury, does it? affect the rotation at all, knowing that you don't have Grant to maybe sub uh, Again, Matt, Matt went full to go, yeah. so we, we expect him to be ready to go. Any limitations of John Rice running at all? You think he's Not, none today. He looked, he looked good running today. We asked you a few weeks ago about the California bill, but now with the NCAA kind of weighing in on the name, image, likeness, yeah. do you guys have any thoughts about how that's going to work I, out? You case? know, I, I don't just because it's so early in the process and I'm focused on trying to find a way to beat Auburn. But uh, it's still early in the process. Well, you know, the SEC is always at the forefront because it's all going to be involved with recruiting and everything. Everybody's worried about recruiting advantages. But we'll, we'll follow the Southeastern Conference and their leadership on that. But I think there's a long way to go to come to a – you know, an agreement on you know, try, try to make sure there's balance across the entire country. It sounded yesterday like they want this thing fully in place January first, twenty twenty one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that, so I'm, I'm not aware of any timeline. I just think there's going to be, there's got to be a bunch of discussion on how we get this thing, you know, uniformed across the entire country. Is that something the players have been talking about at all? Uh, not that I've heard, uh, but I'm sure anytime you know that it's, you know, it's in the news and they're they're on they're on their cell phones, so I'm sure they, you know, are talking about it some. Did, could you get a gauge from LSU film at all on how healthy Whitlow is? I think he played a little bit, but I think he's still kind of coming back from that. Yeah, you saw he came in and ran the Wildcat, so I'm, assu I'm assuming he'll have a similar Wildcat package. You know, he, he had the knee brace on, and, and you know, shoot, he's a, he's a heck of a player. He clearly wasn't 100%, but anytime he's out there, you're going to have to account for him because he's a, he's a heck of a player.